Everyone has heard the Super Mario Bros. theme, or the Legend of Zelda theme, but not everyone has heard of the man behind these compositions. So let's change that and talk about the god of compositions that is Koji Kondo. Koji Kondo was born on August 13th, 1961. Like with many Asian parents that want the best for their son, little Kondo was forced to take lessons on the electric keyboard since the age of five. His skills truly took shape when he joined a cover band that played jazz and rock music. Sadly, not many pictures exist of this time, so I'll try to recreate this time, using my knowledge of 1970s Japanese trends and pop culture. Yeah, that looks about right. With his hairline receding at a young age, his dream of rock and roll was tarnished. Instead, he looked to education by attending Osaka University of Arts. Call it fate or divine intervention, but during his senior year, Nintendo sent a recruitment message to his university looking to hire people dedicated to composition and sound programming. Surprisingly, Koji Kondo, unlike most artists, got his big break from that one application. Most musicians are left with no job and compete on the street with rappers and Chilean pan flute musicians to get their demo tapes out. West side. West side. But not Mr. Kondo, he didn't even send a demo tape. Makes you wonder what he included in his resume. Nintendo recognized Kondo's lucky situation, so they were prepared to make him work. And work quickly. His first game he would compose was Punch Out in 1983. Like the Rocky inspired fighter, Kondo also had to learn with a montage. As I said before, Koji Kondo was the composer of the original Mario Bros theme, but no theme better illustrates his genius quite like the Legend of Zelda theme. Late in the first Zelda's development, Koji Kondo wanted to use Marus Ravel's Spanish dance Bolero as a theme song. Only when it was too late they realized the copyrights for the composer's work had not expired. So they couldn't legally use it. So you know what this legend did? He walked up straight to Miyamoto's desk and said, Yo, I fucked up. I didn't check my sources, but leave it to me. Followed by three backflips and a guitar solo as he left the room. Well it's not too clear what happened that day, but that is how my Japanese source described it. Okay, yes. So you said two backflips? Oh no, three backflips, okay. Anyways, Koji Kondo composed the original Zelda theme in just one single day. Now look at what you or me accomplished today. I can tell you already it wasn't something this great. One of the most iconic tunes in media that has reached all around the world. All I did was make this video, which is nothing compared to the source. You see how amazing this man is? He inspires other people to write about him. Just like any other company that sees extraordinary monetary gain in their employees, Nintendo was quick to lock up Mr. Kondo away into their Nintendo dungeon where he would compose Mario and Zelda music for the rest of his life. Luckily for Kondo, his natural talent either being blessed by fairies or being half-elf himself, allowed him to compose songs faster than Nintendo could make games. Ahem, Nintendo shouldn't take seven years to make a Zelda game. Ahem, Majora's Mask is my favorite game and they made it in less than a year. Ahem, I am easily pleased. The dungeon became quickly irrelevant and Kondo was free to attend video game symphonies and even perform piano with Imagine Dragon. There are so many games that he has worked on, so let's play a little game where I play the song and you tell me whether he composed it. Let's begin.
Well, was it Kondo or was it not? It was Kondo! This little ditty is from Super Mario Sunshine Deep Sea Mar. Now, was this one Kondo or was it not? It was not Kondo! This is actually the main theme from Hunter x Hunter 1999. And it was composed by Toshihiko Sahashi. Okay, this will be the final one. So let's hear it. What do you think? Kondo or no Kondo? It is Kondo! This one's pretty easy. Super Mario Galaxy, Good Egg Galaxy. Great work, am I right? I don't think I expressed just how much of a genius this man is, but I can easily prove this with one example. His music is so good, you can play it backwards and it makes a whole new song. Just look at these examples! And they say the Beatles are bigger than Jesus, play their songs backwards and all you get are instructions for summoning demons and recipes for eating babies. In short, Koji Kondo is an amazing composer that has been able to make so many iconic tunes that have been stuck in the heads of people around the world. And I really appreciate him for this work. <laughs>